Hey guys, um, so kind of been a little bit off with recording my workouts and whatnot, but I will post, uh, I made two TikToks for the first and the second. Today is January 3rd and we are going to not fail this with the 365 day challenge of going to work out or walk between 5,000 5, to 10,000 steps for the days that I don't go to the gym. Um, so yeah, I'm going to the gym now. I'm picking up Christina. She's going to join me for this gym workout today. And yeah, today I'm thinking about doing legs. I'm not sure. My knees are a little bit messed up right now. Um, and when I do legs, I like doing squats. And if I can't do squats, I don't want to do legs. So I'm still thinking about it. I'll probably make a decision once I get to the gym, preferably. So let's go. That's definitely not how this works. So guys, now we're here at the gym. Christina's with me. She doesn't feel the best, but she still decided to come with me and get this workout. We just made a sale. So Christina does have a Poshmark. I'll leave it down, linked in the description, uh, where she sells things that she doesn't want. And she just sold two Funko Pops for $14. So it's reasonably priced stuff. Uh, and out of box also, like it's not in the box, it's just out. Well, that's just the Funko. Yeah. I'm just saying like everything you're selling is no, reasonably I know, priced. I wanted to tell them about the Funko. Oh, okay. Like that it's out of the box, it's not like... Yeah, so, uh, since out of the box we, you know, wanted to give the person a deal, so we decided to just go ahead and ruin my vlog. <laughs> we just wanted to go ahead and uh, give him a deal. So two loose Funko Pops for $14. It's a Maleficent and an Aurora. I think she's from uh, Snow White. I hope you enter like that, right? <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so we're here at Walmart. We're gonna get some shipping supplies. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm back at home just dropped off Christina. Today was a good day. Good day back to the gym. Uh, I worked out the first. Then, worked out the first. Walked on the second. Today's the third. And I may put a clip of what I was with, well, legs. And I kind of want to talk about the 365 day challenge. So, I'm a person that I like to prove people wrong, but I also enjoy proving myself wrong. So, a ton of people have come to me and said, working out 365 days, that's insane. Your body's gonna hurt. Your body's gonna, gonna want, want you to quit. That's the point. I'm gonna get to that point and not quit. I wanna get to that point and still keep going. Because honestly, the only one stopping me at the end of the day is me. We go throughout our lives making excuses for things that we haven't accomplished. Or we give it a reason. I work too much, I, I have two kids, I, 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 don't, I just don't have the time for it. If you have the time to binge watch a show, you have time to go work out. If you have time to party, hit, hit, the, hit the clubs and party, you have time to set aside and actually focus on you and fix you and do what you need to do to better yourself. Because ain't no one going to give you that life except for you. But anyway guys, just got to my house, got to my apartment. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll probably be filming a bit more of like what I eat on a daily basis and how I prepare the food. Um, 
Hey guys, welcome to day four of the 365 days of working out non-stop or walking between five to 10,000 steps if I don't go to the gym. So today I am going to the gym, which is going a little bit later, um, waiting for Christina to get home, as well as I'm cooking dinner. I'm making some meatballs and rice. I've been craving uh, some nice Italian meatballs, so they're cooking right now in the air fryer. And as I was cooking, I was like, why don't I show them what I take on a daily basis? My supplements, everything. What kind of protein powder I use? So um, I really only take these, uh, these two supplemental pills. I take a calcium pill. And I only really take this because my nutritionist, because uh, I do work with a nutritionist to help me out with my macros, uh, said that I should really take some calcium in my diet. Uh, it's gonna help maintain bone health as I lose weight as well as some multivitamin so I take two multivitamins per day I take one in the morning and one at night and then three calciums typically one in the morning and then two at night or vice versa and then I kind of want to show you guys what I take as protein so there's a ton of proteins out there there's ghost there's isopure there's whey protein, there's there's so many brands out there. I want to get a protein uh, shake that really... When I was looking and I, when I was studying uh, what kind of protein shakes I wanted, I was drinking Premier Protein and I liked that it, you know, it came mixed and you know, there, there's a variety of flavors, but I didn't like it that I can drink it not cold. <laughs> Drinking it when it's hot wasn't the best for me. I didn't like it. It actually became a lot more difficult for me because of that. So I decided that, and I spoke with my nutritionist, hey, can I go into protein powder? Because I can just add some cold water. I can find cold water almost anywhere. Or some room temperature water, which I don't consider hot, and drink it like that. So. I decided to get this brand. It's Body Tech Whey Protein Isolate, and the reason for it is because I'm my diet consists of very high protein, low carb, um, low fat diet. So you would say keto, but I don't want too much fat in my diet. And with the whey protein, with 25 grams, one gram of sugar, one gram of fat, it's been really good to me this is the cookies and cream flavored very delicious i sometimes blend it with the blend jet it's a portable uh blender that i can take anywhere uh if i go to the parks you know i can just put some water in here have some of that protein and just shake it up while i'm in line and you know drink that up when i can and when so i'm supposed to drink two servings of, of these a day so that's 50 calorie, 50 pro grams of protein just with uh, the, the shake. But again, I want it to be very high in protein. So I mix it one time with water and then the next time I use milk. So I was a big believer of don't drink cow milk. There's no benefits to it. I was a big drinker of almond milk, but almond milk is very sweet and I'm trying to be low on my carbs and the unsweetened almond milk tastes nasty to me. So I wanted to find a, a middle ground. So I bought Fairlife one day and I kind of fell in love with it. 50% less sugar than regular milk and it has 13 grams of protein. Meaning when I mix these two together, we are o over 35 grams of protein in just me drinking it. And it's only 80 calories. The protein powder is 110. So that's what it's typically that's what I typically intake once a day. Cause again, I do it once with, with the milk and then one time with just regular water. Right now I have some meatballs air frying. I wanted to have some meatballs with rice today. And that's, that's pretty much it for now guys. Uh, I'll, I'll show you guys a little bit of my workout most likely in the morning um, or add some clips that I took for TikTok uh, and if you guys don't know follow my TikTok I'll put both Christina's and I TikToks 
down there in the, in the description, you can go ahead and follow us there. Uh, we're a little bit more active in posting uh, on there because I'm also posting my 365 day challenge updates every day there. So it's very fun, it's very exciting. Um, I'm gonna finish editing the vlog. I'm actually editing the room tour vlog right now, so I'm gonna finish editing that and then hit the gym and get the work done. No one's gonna do it but me, so I'll see you guys in a bit. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome to day three, first, second, third, day four of going and working out every single day for 2023. 365 days I'd be working out or going on between 10, five to 10,000 uh, steps in a day. So, um, I think I want to start off this vlog kind of explaining how I feel after three days going to the gym um, and experiencing what possibly most of us will experience when work happens. So work's been a little bit tricky with me since coming back from our holiday break. Everything's like a little bit crazy. Uh, it's feeling very overwhelming. There's some people quitting left and right and it's making me not want to do the gym and guys i almost just stayed in bed i had dinner after my dinner i was like i'm tired i don't want to do this i'm just gonna stay in bed whatever but then i remember i remembered that i told myself that even when you feel like this even when you want to quit and you just want to say ah I'll miss a day. It's fine. It's not gonna, not gonna hurt. Not gonna do anything. Eh, I'll be fine with it. They won't know, but you'll know. You'll know that you, whatever you set your mind to, you didn't accomplish. And then you're gonna say at the end of the year, I should have accomplished it. I should have tried better. And here's your proof of it. Here's your. I'm the example of I didn't want to get out of my bed. It is really late. It is 9, 12 at night. And I wake up at 5 in the morning to be ready for work and whatnot. And I decided, you know what? Screw it. I need to go to the gym. I need to get my workout done. 30 minutes at least. A thirty, nice little 30 minute workout. Today, we're working out biceps and triceps. So it should be a quick workout regardless. Christina won't be coming with me. She's having her issues with her job, but just because she's not going doesn't mean I can't go. So, let's get this. One thing I love about my protein shaker is that it comes with a detachable bottom. I have my protein in there. That might be workouts in here. So, I'm sure they could clean up the trigger line until we a bit of protein right there <laughs> but that's fine I'm tired and I'm ready to go home so I'm gonna record so you can see how quick I got home one of the best things I've had in this gym next to your house yeah, I think so. so as you see June's right there and it is currently 10.35, so leaving the gym at 10.35, let's see what time I get to my house. I might speed this, I might not. So, if I end up not speeding it, I'm actually really happy I ended up coming. I feel really good, my muscles feel in pain, but it's part of the process. You know, they, it's like a little quote, it's cheesy. Sweat is the fat crying. I don't sweat necessarily, like heavy sweat, unless like I'm doing tons of cardio, but cardio, even though it is important, it's not my main thing. I'm going ahead now. Here's that laundry mat that we passed when first came. 
So, we're again gonna go into the part where I lose light for a little bit because I'm literally crossing the street. But, I'm happy. I'm happy that I got myself up from bed as much as I didn't want to. It was uh, the best decision I could have made tonight. And we got to the gym, 9.20, 9.15, around there. And leaving the gym at 10.35, for someone that didn't want to leave their house, didn't want to get out of bed, Got to cross the street here, make sure I don't get run over. But again, it's like almost 11 o'clock at night. There's like no one on the street at this point. <coughs> but we made it to my apartments. And it's 10.37. Literally a little nice little two minute walk. So, definitely, <clears throat> if you ever feel like you don't want to go to the gym, try your hardest to push yourself to go because I'm feeling great. I'm only really leaving because they're going to close soon and I don't want to be that guy. See you guys either in the morning or in the afternoon. No, we'll see you in the morning. Good morning, guys. Welcome to a new day. Uh, so, continuing on with what I eat throughout the day. Uh, my day starts off easy. It starts off great. Uh, for breakfast, I have one hard-boiled egg. So, I cook four to five of them at the end of the week, Sunday, and I have them ready for, for every day of the week. Oh my god, the egg just fell out. And in the fridge drawer. So I have that uh, with some fruit. The fruit always changes. Sometimes I have grapes. Sometimes I have some tangerines. It's regularly just one of them. So I put them in this container and then uh, I don't eat so that's typically my 8 a.m. Uh, meal and then I will go for a, one of my childhood favorites a denim drink around 10 a.m. to 11 I drink one of these a little yogurt just to you know, hold me down until lunch. I typically have lunch between 12 and 1, um, depending on my job and what I'm doing that day. Sometimes I, I work over my lunch. Uh, but yeah, one of the great things about working from home is I'm not tempted with like office food and office snacks. I just work from home and, you know, I'm in my own little domain, my own little thing. Which is why you only see, always see me wear the same thing, this oversized uh, sweater. But, uh, yeah, here's my little workstation. So this is where I do my work. And then typically during my lunch breaks, I do have my, my laptop here. And that's where I edit the videos. I do, you know, work with Photoshop, things like that. So I'm typically at this dining table for most of the day before I go and, and do a workout. Um, I was supposed to go and get up today at 5 a.m. for my 5 a.m. workout, but it's becoming a bit difficult for 5 a.m. workout since coming back from the holiday break that, we, that, that I had from my job. But nevertheless, tomorrow's a new day. Tomorrow's a day that I can possibly maybe hit it at a 5 a.m. workout. Gotta wait and see. Today is working out my back. Today is back workouts. Very excited. I love working out back. Um, 
legs are still sore from the leg day arms are hurting from last night uh, and hopefully I can get a little work workout done today I'm not sure if I'm gonna go as late to the gym and I may not go to the one that's out here there's another gym about five to ten minutes away from me that's slightly bigger and has more machines and more f and the freeway area is slightly bigger as well so my hit up that gym I do have the the one the gym pass that lets me go to any gym that is open so definitely gonna see where it leads me I'll see you guys in a bit hey guys just coming on here real quick um, as I'm, as I'm recording this, I just uploaded the video of the room tour at the Residence Inn and I kind of want to talk to you guys about um, what I ate today and things like that. So for today, I've eaten 489 calories. I've burned 10 and the only reason why it says 10 is because I didn't put my Samsung watch on to actually track my steps. Um, and I have 1,969 calories to go. So to kind of tell you, uh, for breakfast I had my hard-boiled egg as always, and then I had some California mandarins. Uh, that was a whopping 100 calories. I had one of those little mandarins. And then for lunch I had a cranberry walnut spring green with feta cheese salad. Uh, I haven't had dinner yet. And then my snacks today were my the Danables that I I have as well as um, my Danimal yogurt as well as uh, my protein shake with the Fairlife milk um, so it is looking pretty good I didn't add the Danimal's drink so let me just add that there done so yeah so 569 uh, calories is what I ate I'm not hungry at all because I've also had like three of these uh, bottled waters uh, today and yeah just typical typical Thursday it's almost the end of the week the weekends is always a little bit tough um, tomorrow Friday we might be going out to Ao house with a friend of Christina's and I so we're gonna go hang out with her and we are I'm gonna show you what I would eat someone that's trying to lose weight and taking in account everything and my calorie my daily calorie intake and whatnot so definitely oh and we're not skipping gym just because we're going out if I'm gonna go out tomorrow that means I have to work out in the morning and I will make that happen either at noon at noon with um which is my break that I have here at work or at five o'clock in the morning which is always my goal I miss working out early in the morning but having a week off from work during the holidays and then coming back into it has messed up my sleep schedule so I gotta get back into waking up waking up at five o'clock in the morning to be able to work out and really have that part of my day and some people might be saying, why work out so early? You know, like I do start work at eight o'clock in the morning. I get off at four. And um, the reason I like working, waking up and working out at five o'clock in the morning is because I get it out of the way. I get it out of the way and I don't have to worry about, I need to go to the gym, I need to go to the gym, I need to go to the gym. If I take, if I do it so early in the morning, I just feel a whole lot better about myself. So we'll see you guys probably later today because I still gotta go to the gym. I didn't go to again go to the gym this morning. So we'll see you in a bit. So we finished the gym. Uh, did a little bit more than the 30 minutes that I promised Christina. But I feel great. All this week I did a full body workout. I didn't really isolate my muscles just because there was a, since I had like a week off from work I also took the week off last year to uh, the last week in December to not work out just because I wanted to spend time with family and friends and whatnot so I wanted this week to be a full body workout 
probably gonna continue it for Friday tomorrow, even though you're already watching this video. And then it's Saturday, Sunday, having my workouts as normal. Um, I will see you guys on our next adventure.